Thanks, Amanda. We're back in the Southern Union State Community College Kitchen with Chef Ian Walters from Bibb Street Pizza Company. Of course, we're making pizza, New York style pizza. Absolutely. We had our dough prep last time. We made our sauce. Now we just need to put it all together. I got my apron on. I'm ready. This is good because now is the fun part. Now is where we make a little mess. Uh, we're going to start with making sure you've got a nice surface. Uh, you're going to want to make sure you do have a smooth surface so your dough is not going to stick to it. This is where the mess begins. This is where we're starting to uh, hone our inner child. You get to sp sprinkle a little flour on the table. Absolutely. To I love to make a mess. And there's never, again, you can always clean up afterwards, so you're exactly. never going to overkill it with that. <laughs> you just want to make sure you're not sticking to the surface there. And so today, well, your dough ball would come out of that mixer, and then it's going to end, end up with a product after rolled, which is going to start to be about a dough. That rolled product is going to come out to this shape here. And what we start to do when we are rolling our, or we're pressing out our dough, you want to cross your fingers. Uh -huh. You want to go ahead, make a rim all the way around the outside. Avoid going on the middle of the dough. It smells good. <laughs> we certainly try our best. That's where the fresh ingredients yes. come in. That fresh ingredient, all that tomato, all that basil that's worked into the sauce uh, smells fantastic. Same just, with the pepper. We're just working our way around. Would you like to yes, go around I there? Would. Am I, you have to tell me if I'm doing it right. Well, that's exactly, that's correct. You're making your, your barrier for uh, the sauce and the cheese not to overflow off the side of that pizza. Now, could you make this into some fun shapes, say like a heart for Valentine's? 100%. Uh, I didn't cross my hands, sorry. That's, that's kind of the fun part too with Valentine's Day coming up. Um, we, where we aim to please. You can come through Bibb Street Pizza and just get your, your normal pizza, or if you want a heart, I guarantee you every pizza maker on deck right now can make that make heart. Make a heart, yes. Let me let you take back over? Sure. <laughs> so from so there... So see the bubbles coming up. Yeah, and that's a good thing. That's You're avoiding, you're pressing the extra air out of this dough, but you're avoiding the middle because you can create thin spots if you work the middle too much. That's just making sure that your uh, pizza is ready. We're going to take our hands here, spread it out, ah. and we're going to further that. That's how we're continuing to work the outside of the pizza. All we're doing bigger. is just going like that right there. And You've equally. done this a few times. I dabble. Uh, you know, I'm, <laughs> I mix it up a little bit. I like to make a few before we open just to stay loose. Uh, how long have you been making pizzas? That's a great question. Um, long time? It's over a decade. <laughs> I, I think I'm closing in on 14 years. There was a few years I worked with some great people. Um, they, they had been doing it a long time, so I was just at the register for a few years before I even got into the kitchen. But you learned from the best. I feel I did. I had some really great teachers along the way. And now I'm learning from the best, right? I, I'm <laughs> going to take that as a compliment. How's that looking? Fantastic. So that's your surface there that you're going to want to be able mm -hmm. to start to cover. Um, same. This, this is just kind of to help stretch it. You can do it a few different ways if you want to. Um, you know, you see. Can you toss it for us? Certainly. Would you, would you like me to? Yeah. Do it one more time. <laughs> one hand, two hand, how do you want it? Awesome. I, it would end up on the floor if I did it. <laughs> it happens. Uh, I can tell you it, it happens. You're going to have to drop a few to get those ones that you don't. Um, so what we're going to do right now, once we have our dough, we're going to take this pan here, and this will allow us to transfer it into the oven. So we're going to go ahead and... A little more flour on there. Absolutely. We don't want that sticking to that pan either. That way it'll slide right into the oven on that hot pizza stone that we've had in there warming up this entire time. So you want that pizza stone hot before you put this on there. Absolutely. That's going to greatly impact the bake time of that. When you turn your oven on initially and you're going to want to go high temp as high as you can, probably about 500 degrees in a house oven, start that stone in there at the same time. Okay. That way when you're ready to bake, it's ready to bake. Get them ready to go. So we're going to take our sauce that we made and go ahead, start in the middle, and it just stay inside the sauce there. Just work it out? Absolutely. Do I need to add more? That's where it starts to become as you're baking in your kitchen, how, if, if you'd like to. I'd probably go another ladle on I that. I like it saucy. Absolutely. And one of the great things about that is being in your own kitchen, if you do like it with extra sauce or light sauce or some extra cheese or the other way around, that's, that's where you're in your kitchen. You can doctor it however you want. I'm always going to start with the red sauce, but you can go with a few different bases. You can do a pesto. You could do Bianca. 
Once you actually get that dough down and comfortable with it, the bases become limitless. Is that good? Or? That's great. And so then we're going to go from there to just spreading the cheese evenly all the way across. And I like to go ahead and make sure that, same, if you, if you like the extra cheese, go crazy. I like to more, see a little bit of sauce in there. The more cheese, the better. There you go. I like that. The more cheese, the more sauce, the better. Mm -hmm. That's uh, one of the things, too, with the toppings list. The toppings list You just list tell me when endless. to stop. Let's see. I feel like that's that's pretty good right there. That's pretty good. Um, and then one of the the key ingredients with that cheese, uh, if you're doing a New York style, try to go with a whole mozzarella, a whole milk, or a low moisture. And you um, you did this yourself right here. You grated it yourself. 100%. That's how we start in the store too. You can always get the pre-shredded if you need to, but with a whole block, there's there's a lot less in it. Um, Anti-clotting agents, things that aren't going to hurt you, but they do compromise the flavor here and there. So we try to go from the scratch the best that we can. That's now we start putting the pepperonis on? on? Yes. Is that next? Absolutely. What's your favorite kind of pizza? I like ham and mushroom. You can't go wrong with that. That's actually <laughs> a, that's a great pairing right there. Uh, that's a classic pairing. It it's is. one of my favorites. One more there in the middle. Now, I'm going to let you in on the... Uh, the secret ingredient? It is the secret ingredient. I like that you know where we're going with this. <laughs> I'm going to take some of this. The secret is from up top because it's fun. It's part of the mess of yes. everything else. That way you can watch it. See where you're comfortable with, with your Parmesan. Same. Add as much or as little as you want. And then the oregano is the last step. I like to start high, spread it even. That's fantastic. Good to go. Absolutely. Now ready to go in the oven. All right. And so one of the things you want to do is make sure that it's going to transfer. That's where that flour is from in there. And then we're going to go ahead and take this pizza over to the oven and drop it in there. It's easy as that. We'll cook it, and then we're going to get to come back and eat it here in a few minutes. That's the best part. Well, coming up, educators can enjoy free general admission this weekend at the U.S. Space and Rocket Center. Next, more details.